Leading as a woman is tough, but leading as a woman of faith is next level. However, it doesn't have to be that way. God has called you into this leadership role because He says you are worthy. You are His child and if He qualifies you, who in this world can unqualify you? You might suffer from imposter syndrome and believe you're not good enough, but God says you are good enough. Hi, I'm Rika Whelan, Christian leader and workplace culture coach, and together we're going to navigate leadership with faith as our foundation. Let's get started. Grab your coffee or water, keep that notebook and pen handy, and let's jumpstart your leadership. Hello and welcome to another episode of the Women of Faith in the Leadership podcast. Now today's episode is a little bit different. It's not a teaching, it's more of a just giving you some information on what's coming up on the podcast. And the main reason for that is that it is school holidays, last day of school holidays, and um, if you hear my kids in the background, it's because they are in the background. So it seems a little bit too quiet at the moment, but okay. <laughs> so I'm excited to launch a new series on the podcast. And the first episode of that will be launching next week or will be landing on the podcast next week. And it's called Conversations About Gossip. And so in this series about conversations about gossip, it's where I speak to just all people from all walks of life about how gossip has affected them and, and, you know, negatives and then the decisions that they had to make as a result of that, or even people that were involved with gossip and how it affected them. And then when they decided to come out of that and say, okay, no more. I've also had some conversations with leaders, you know, people who say that they were just tolerating the gossip. And then when they made that decision to not tolerate it anymore, how tough it was for them. But the result and the reward at the end of that was just super amazing. So look out for that first part of the series. So there's going to be this. I can't say how many episodes there's going to be because I've already interviewed quite a lot of people. And yep, it'll end when it ends, so I'm not quite sure how many episodes there'll be. But I will pop an episode, so every fourth episode on the podcast is going to be a conversation about gossip. Uh, You all know, if you've been following me for a while, then you know that I'm quite passionate about um, you know, supporting leaders to manage or even eradicate workplace gossip. And I know that a mission of mine that the Lord has given me is to talk more about gossip, bring it out into the light and um, yeah, to highlight what his word says about gossip and the negative effects it can have on people Um, and on you as the person who's gossiping, the negative effects it can even have on you. Uh, There is an episode I did about what the Bible says about gossip and I believe that's episode three. Um, I'll just quickly uh, double check here. But yeah, so gossip is the one thing that I feel, um, no, it's episode four. What does the Bible say about gossip? So yeah, it's something that I believe that God has laid on my heart. There's not many people who talk about gossip. It's a very negative thing. And, you know, I've had conversations with people, you know, where where we try and put it into a positive light in some way, shape or form or reframe it into a positive But the reality of gossip is that it is negative and we can't look at the positive before we look at the negative. So my intention with the with the series is just to show you everyday people who struggle with gossip or everyday people who've been affected by gossip. So, yeah, looking forward to that. And then the other thing that I'm looking forward to sharing with you in the next couple of episodes is a listener question. So listener has popped in questions around their leader or their line manager and their boss, you know, asking them to do the wrong thing. And what what should they do? What should they say? And what can or should they do when their boss asks them to do the right thing or the wrong thing? I mean, when they actually just want to do the right thing, but they don't want to be in trouble. So that episode's coming up as well. Keep a listen and a lookout for that. And then I'm also looking forward to sharing a bit of a testimony of my own about how the Lord has worked in my heart to focus more on you ladies, you women of faith in leadership, and how he has really just, uh, you know, showed me and other people, through other people as well, it, I felt like it was a team effort, um, just how I should be focusing on you all and how, you know, I'm even pivoting my whole business so that I can focus on the Women of Faith in Leadership podcast and serve women 
you know, Christian women that are leaders um, who are broken and who are struggling. And yep, so I'm just looking forward to sharing my testimony over the next couple of weeks as well, because I believe it's important for us to, yep, share our testimony, especially if God's done an amazing work in our lives then we should share that definitely with other people. So that was just a quick podcast update for you about some about things that are coming up over the next couple of weeks. Sorry if you're disappointed that it's not a full episode or a full training, but you can in the meantime, go and join the Facebook group, Women of Faith in Leadership on Facebook, or go to womenoffaithinleadership.com and you'll be able, that'll navigate you to my brand new website, which I'm super excited about. And there you can also pop in a question if you're a listener who wants to ask me a question or you would like me to talk about a certain topic or you'd like me to get a a person with certain amount of expertise or certain expertise in an area, then yes, pop it in there for me. Uh, Or you can do and there you can also navigate to the Facebook community. So that'll be amazing. And then one of the uh, very exciting news is that the podcast has now moved to top 3%. So we were always top 5% or we started off top 10%. Now we're a top, we were a top 5% podcast and now we're a top 3% podcast. So that is super exciting. It means out of all the podcasts in the or globally, we're in that top 3%. So that is just a testimony to God's amazing work that he's doing on this podcast, uh, you all as listeners. And thank you so much for your support. I truly, truly appreciate that. And yeah, I'm here to serve you. That is my calling as well. I'm here to serve you and I'm here to work with you when you're ready as well. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed the rest of your day whenever you're listening to this episode, whether it is whether you're on your way to work or you're on your way home. I pray that you will have a blessed day and I pray that God will be with you. And that he'll send his angels uh, to protect you as he always does. So, God bless. Bye. Thanks so much for listening. If this podcast blessed you in some way, the number one way you can thank me is by leaving a review. Your feedback means the world to me and lights me up every single time when I read it and it makes me want to keep going. So please leave a review and your review will also help other Christian women in leadership find the answers they are looking for. So whether you're on Spotify or Apple Podcasts, scroll down to the review section and leave that review. Then head over to womenoffaithinleadership.com and join our free Facebook community and I look forward to engaging with you there.